Hello and welcome to INE. The title of this course is vSphere Virtual Networking Case Study for the Cisco Professional. My name is Atindra Chaturvedi and I will be your instructor. I am certified in VMware. Um, I have advanced professional certifications in VMware in uh, data center design and in data center administration. So I am uh, quite familiar with uh, administering virtual uh, data centers based on VMware as well as uh, designing uh, greenfield and uh, brownfield uh, data centers. I also hold network professional certifications. I have a CCNP in uh, data center, uh, Cisco certifications and uh, in routing and switching. And so I'm quite familiar with the uh, networking side uh, both on uh, the data center as well as on the wired area network, uh, especially in uh, uh, terms of routing. Uh, I kind of like uh, routing protocols, although they are not quite relevant to, uh, to this course. Uh, but uh, certainly, um, I will be able to guide you through the data center aspects uh, that we are going to be uh, considering here. Uh, in addition, I also have the VCP6 in uh, network virtualization. So that's the VMware NSX product and VCP Cloud, which is a vCloud uh, director. So why did I create this course? The reason for creating this course is uh, uh, simply that it was uh, a really a uh, good uh, follow-up and uh, pulls together a lot of uh, questions that you might uh, have and uh, provides answers for the questions that you might have uh, after maybe uh, you had the chance to go through my uh, earlier course uh, which was on VMware virtual uh, networking uh, without a case study. Uh, there were lots of labs there and so on. But uh, you and while did, while we did look at uh, design there uh, quite a bit in terms of the uh, concepts, uh, it might be uh, interesting for you to uh, have a course here where we can focus in uh, exclusively on uh, VMware uh, virtual uh, network uh, design uh, with the assumption uh, that uh, you have a level of knowledge uh, at least at the level of uh, what I've covered in my prior course. Uh, that course uh, should be available with the INE also. Is this course only for Cisco network engineers? No, this course is not just for Cisco network engineers. Uh, it is also useful for VMware uh, systems administrators, uh, maybe those that are starting out, uh, so that they understand uh, the things they need to understand from a networking perspective, from the data center networking perspective, uh, so that they can easily communicate with their colleagues on the data center networking side, uh, so that the uh, end result of a good data center design is available to all. So you do need some level of knowledge um, So of uh, Cisco and VMware. As I said, um, my prior course uh, on uh, VMware uh, virtual networking uh, actually covers uh, all the things that you would want to know to really get complete value out of this course uh, if you are a Cisco network professional because uh, this course is actually designed from the viewpoint of a Cisco networking professional. There's nothing in here uh, that uh, from a, a data center networking uh, perspective that you are not that you will not be familiar with. Uh, we'll talk about all the standard uh, terms uh, we use on a regular uh, daily basis. Uh, for the VMware folks, uh, it might be a little uh, disconcerting, so I would uh, ask that you should uh, probably obtain some level of uh, knowledge of uh, switching, because that's what we'll be using here uh, in our designs, as well as uh, uh, bundling of channels, so link aggregation groups, uh, would be a couple of things that might be useful for you to understand. If you have a, if you have a basic knowledge of switching at the Cisco CCNA level, then uh, you are going to have no issues at all. So again, the uh, uh, flip side is uh, simply, I think I, I, I kind of went over it. Uh, it's really important uh, because of uh, convergence and interaction that, that's happening in the modern data center. It's really important that the uh, data center networking uh, organization and uh, the uh, virtual infrastructure administrators, uh, the VMware administrators, have some kind of a uh, common uh, language or a common understanding of the other side. And that's what I mean by the flip side. You just cannot look at the virtual uh, network only and design something that may fail not because it's not uh, it's not correctly designed on just the VMware side but it may not fit well with the physical uh, 
data center that that's in place the uh, network that's in place so and an and understanding of uh, what's actually available and maybe if some modifications are required to have the right language uh, and terminology to uh, discuss uh, with the cisco uh, counterparts uh, is is really useful so things are uh, converging and the same thing applies for uh, cisco uh, network professionals and uh, that is probably the reason you are uh, actually uh, viewing this course uh, you probably want to understand uh, more about uh, what are the kind of design decisions that uh, vmware virtual uh, networking folks and uh, administrators have to make so that you understand better and that you can then support them much better from a physical perspective or maybe provide some guidance uh, because in many cases i've seen uh, data centers being uh, put up with uh, almost like uh, default configurations on on either side and yes you have ip connectivity uh, but really you're not making the full use of the money that you've spent on your equipment so our goal of the course is to obtain a strong understanding of vSphere virtual networking uh, design and application and uh, we will uh, study uh, design principles for vSphere virtual networking and uh, we will do a case study greenfield and brownfield um, uh, implication so we'll cover the design implications for the virtual network we'll look at the design options that we have for the physical network and then we'll see how the two actually interact i will be putting it all together in in a case study uh, and uh, so it's going to be uh, whiteboarding uh, quite a bit uh, but before we uh, get to the whiteboarding and the case study i'll briefly review uh, some of the design principles that have been covered in the prior course so if you have went had a chance to view the prior course on uh, vSphere virtual uh, networking basics uh, i would uh, recommend that you do that uh, it'll just make uh, this effort that you're putting into this course uh, that much uh, more uh, valuable to you in terms of what you get out of it now one more point i want to make here is that we are going to focus on just the design for virtual networking vSphere virtual networking vSphere design is a very broad topic that covers everything from designing ESXi hosts to ESXi clusters to uh, replication uh, issues uh, how do you design your storage network and of course it also includes how do you design your virtual network and so on there's a lot of other uh, design that has to get done this course is going to be focused only on the parts that i think are really the most important parts of designing a virtual infrastructure and even more so it's done from the viewpoint of a cisco professional who i am going to assume has had a chance to review the earlier course on vSphere virtual networking so they are completely up to speed with the terminology so as i said i will do a very quick re uh, review but i'm certainly not going to uh, go into uh, things like uh, vlans and explain that from uh, the ground up or a spanning tree uh, port fast and things of that nature i will use the terms as they are normally used and um, i believe with your background you should absolutely have no trouble at all so with that let's proceed